Hello guys, today I'm going to have a short review of the latest archive work, Neural Codec Language Models R Zero Shot Text to Speech Synthesizer by Microsoft. I think the paper has two major novel points. The first is, you can see, they leveraged 60,000 hours of uh, unlabeled data in their uh, so called pre trained model and compare it with. Uh, existing TTS method, which has to use um, just a few hundred hours of clean recordings uh, and the labeled and, and recorded in a clean studio. And the second thing is that they have this type of uh, zero shot learning, uh, which they call that in context learning. So, which enabled them to use a very short voice prompt uh, to facilitate uh, TTS with just the three seconds of audio. And uh, let's look at the general framework of the proposed method, body. And it, first, they start off a pre-trained model, which is a neural codec language modeling, which will generate code. The code would contain, uh, I think, two information two pieces of information, content and the speaker. The content is coming from the text for synthesis, and the speaker information is coming from the acoustic prompt, which is three seconds of an in-road recording. And the, talking about the method, first of all, uh, they used uh, existing published work called the Audio LM, which uses the residual vector quantization method, uh, you can see that this is uh, unsupervised training. You don't have to have uh, TTS labels. So the clean speech as input, and also the clean speech, the same clean speech is served as uh, the target in the loss function. And the, in the each layer, uh, the VQ would take the residual from the previous layer as input, and the output a uh, residual to the next layer. And you can see that the code output from each layer would be uh, stacked into a final code tensor. The tensor size is 8 by t. t is the length of the encoded speech. So after they have the backbone or fundamental model, uh, the key thing is how to encode, how to encode the, the voice prompt uh, and uh, use that together with the, the text encoding. And you can see that the, in the part one, they use an autoregressive model to estimate the code of the first layer or first quantizer. And you can see it based on the text encoding, and also the, the first quantizer output of the audio prompt. And the, you can see the probability or the conditional probability is estimated in this type of uh, autoregressive style. And the, for the second part, they leverage something called a, a non-autoregressive framework. Uh, it still uses the text enc encoding, uh, but this time it uses all the uh, voice prompt uh, uh, matrix. And you can see that this time, the, the dependence, dependency is no longer the past and the current, but you can also depend on the future of the VQs. And the, the VQs of the previous layers would be used. Eventually, they're going to combine these two probabilities to get the final probability of the codec, a code, and then they plug it in after they plug, will plug a, a vocoder after this, so they would be able to use the backpropagation to update the parameters of the autoregressive and non autoregressive model. Regarding the performance, I think uh, it's uh, fairly impressive. Uh, regarding the WR drop and the speaker classification error drop. And also they shown that uh, compared to with uh, your TTS, uh, 
they have a way much better uh, similarity mean opinion score, and also they compared with uh, your TDS, they have a better comparative MOS score. And uh, it's also very impressive that suppose this is ground truth with three seconds of prompt, you're gonna get a similarity score of a 5.5, but with only three seconds of prompt, their proposal method, they can get a 0 0.4 uh, similarity score. Uh, remember, three seconds is very short in terms of a zero shot TTS. Eventually, they mentioned that uh, the future work might uh, include uh, making the synthesis more robust, uh, also using more data into the training so they can cover the zero shot case much better. And also, they want to explore more model architecture and also they want to pay attention to the ethical AI. Thank you for watching. This is Ola Web Channel. Share your video with your friends if you like it. Hit subscribe if you like it.